you guys are from Choice Movies, and so far, I have ranked every Jetpack Droid vehicle, upgrade, and event. I think all those videos I'm having, because they're good. And also, ranking every Jetpack Droid vehicle happens to be my most viewed video ever, but it came out over two years ago. <sighs> having played the game a lot more over the past two years, I feel this time for a do-over. Do I agree with my picks, or is there room for improvement? Spoiler alert, some of my choices were just straight up nuts. And I'll also respond to some comments on those videos as well. Anyway, the first thing I will go over, and the one which I've probably got the most comments about, is the crazy freaking teleporter. Back then, I said, But it has one glaring flaw. You aren't allowed to access the entire screen at any one time. You're restricted by where the purple outline is, which could allow you to miss coins and spin tokens. Well, I screwed up. I severely overestimated how much of a hindrance this small quirk in teleporter mechanics would be. I actually like how YouTube user ZUltraXL puts it, where he says, I feel like they could really make the teleporter better if they allowed you to teleport to wherever you tapped on the screen instead of a swinging preview. But I don't really agree with myself that it should be last place. That was definitely not that bad of an issue. Another thing I got criticism for was putting the badass hog above the wave rider. The badass hog, while looking stylish, is pretty cool but isn't the greatest gameplay wise. A vehicle, in my refined opinion, is much better if it controls well, or like I said for CFT, have unique gimmicks that make it distinct from other vehicles. It's only somewhat unique gimmick is done in between the handlebars, but this is again purely cosmetic, and to make matters worse, the top of the screen is hard to reach, and Flash is relegated to his own side compartment connected to the hog. Not very easy to use. However, not all opinions change, and I do agree with myself a few years ago on this one. Despite all your pestering, Gravity Suit should not be last. Yeah, I know it seems bad on the surface, but there's a trick I bet 99% of you don't know. By spamming the gravity between the floor and the ceiling, you can sort of hover in the middle of the screen. This is very useful for avoiding missiles and for coin slash spin. And also just some stylish. Uh, okay, quick intermission here just to let you guys know that we are really close to 500 subscribers, so if you guys could please smack that subscribe button, smack that like button, all that good stuff. Please, uh, help us in the journey. That would be great. Anyway, back to the video, because there's a lot more I have to say. Not really a re-ranking, but I just thought I'd quickly mention the fact that I omitted the DeLorean and Hoverboard from the Back to the Future event in the initial video. I got slandered in this comment. I briefly touched on this in Ranking Every Jetpack to a Ride event, but the video was intended to be current vehicles only. Regardless, obviously the DeLorean is the exact same thing as the Echo 1 from the Ghostbusters event, which I guess is limited now too. But the hoverboard is a little bit more interesting. This one I actually do feel remorse for not including in the video, because it's actually different from the Badass Hog, despite what you might be thinking. It has a double jump, which I didn't realize until I was looking for the footage for this video and from this event. I realized it actually does have a double jump, which is a lot more useful than the Badass Hog and definitely makes it a unique vehicle much better than that one. And the final thing I want to say comes from the Ranking Every Jetpack Joyride Upgrade video. When I was doing that video, I only used level 1 upgrades, but now I realize that upgrading these upgrades exists, and with level 3 shield, you can take multiple hits of damage, which is way better than the coin trail, in my opinion. So, yeah, I would just like to let you know that that was not an error on my part, just that I didn't have the coins to fully upgrade it, and so I was just using based off the information that I had. But I do definitely think that is better when it's fully upgraded than the coin trick. And yeah, that is how I redid all of my uh, terrible mistakes and decisions. Um, 
up on screen you'll see an updated ranking list uh, of including all the changes that I made in my updated opinion so yeah it's definitely changed quite a bit but uh yeah make sure to like all the subscribe all that stuff see you in the next video bye